We welcome one, we welcome all. I'm just so happy that it's finally here. I mean, we've been here in March. The parks we work with, they really wanted to make this happen. Uh, I, th I think that's, a, that's really the driver why, well, I think, what is it? Within a little over half a year, we're here again and, uh, and the actual, actual technology is there. It's definitely what we need right now. I think that that design that they have there is perfect for our gullies and for the way of capturing our waste. So I'm looking forward to seeing it going up and down the harbour, going to the mouths of the gullies to collect the waste. We're very excited about that. So, the reason we get into Jamaica is going to start in an hour. We're gonna pull in the barriers. First one is Raytown, so it's also the most excited one, right? Next to the fishing village. And uh, it's ready here. We've assembled it last week, finished it on Monday. We just did the intermittent moorings, yesterday the land moorings. And now uh, this is the first out of three barriers for the pilot phase that we're gonna pull into the water and tow towards the deployment location. Think about Jamaica and Kingston and, and the fisherman village. Raytown is what like a child would draw out. There's colors, there's characters. It's just an amazing setting. And uh, I'm really happy that we have incorporated Raytown in our pilot. Also to have the, the locals. We really get all their support. We've been there lots of times now and every time they receive us with a warm welcome. Well, I never seen something like this before. It's tremendous. Well, putting the barriers at the gully to stop the rubbish from going to sea, well, it's something, it's very perfect because the plastic and all those things, it kind of kill out the fish from out of the water. They have no breeding spirit, so we will catch less fish in the harbor. So we have to go far to catch more fish. So it's a very good job you guys do it. This is very important because right now, you yeah, bring back the fishing industry alive. All the fish that used to eat the plastic and used to die out, we're not going to have no more because you people come around. So we'd like to see you. Welcome you back when you come again. For people in Raytown or any of the fishers around the harbour, it's really important that this project works. Um, when we met with them earlier on, they talked about all of the issues that they're facing with the pollution affecting their boats, um, the quality of the fish, their fish sanctuaries are, are dying out. They can't find the bait that they need to find. And this is getting progressively worse. So for them, it is very important that this, this project works. And sometimes we only think about, oh, it doesn't look good, the beauty, but it actually has an impact on a lot of individuals here that live near the harbor. It has an impact on their earning power. It has an impact on the quality of fish that we love to buy. Is the fish even safe? We, there are all of these issues that we have to think about and so it's, I know for them it means a lot and it, it's been great to see how excited they are about the project. You know, we're not going to worry that our barriers won't be safe or anything because it is, it is for them and they understand how it's going to make a difference in the long run for them. Yeah, I saw it. You look good, man. That's nice. The cool, the cool, the cool, everything. Yeah, yeah, nice cool, nice cool. Kingston Pan is uh, the, the gully right next to the port authorities. It's the, it's, a, it's the smallest gully we're trialing with, so it's also the easiest one. However, we, we do see a lot of trash floating out when there's minor rainfall already. And you see that it's instantly beaching on the beach right next to it, and even on the wave breaker that you see on the port side. So, uh, definitely impact. 
but the easiest one out of the of all three. This works. It's an amazing feeling to see it becoming a reality here in Jamaica. The road is long, but um, the journey so far is, is pretty amazing and um, I'm excited to see uh, what we can do here in Jamaica. Right now we're going to Barnes Gully, which is probably the smelliest place on earth. And we are towing out the last barrier to install. So technically, by today, we're finished with the big one. We gotta be doing it. We have to do this before the rain. It's coming, huh? Yeah. It's coming from St. Thomas. So Barnes Gully is the largest one we're doing in the mouth. It is ending up pretty wide, I think 30 meters in width. There's two wave breakers. And there we applied a 60 meter barrier. But the complex part of Barnes is, uh, is it is large. So when it rains, there's a lot of water flowing out. And there's some extra challenges over there that there's a, uh, apparently there's a, there's a chicken slaughtery further up that is constantly leaking chicken blood into this, uh, this gully. Also, it smells like open sewage, so it's terrible to be out there. I wish you could send smell through a camera, and then you guys would stop the video. Say hi to the river team. Hi, river team. <laughs> we save best for last, as you always say. So we started the installation, it took about an hour in the rain and yeah, there you go. We were closing the barrier off, so we were like making it plastic tight as we call. So we're bringing in everything, we're fine tuning the whole setup and that's, and that's where the, 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 the trash is slowly coming towards us, hitting the barrier. So like whilst installing we were, <laughs> we were seeing, it was literally like closing the tap feeling. From this picture everybody really understands what are we doing here with, with, with this kit? It was magical actually. <laughs> the smell not, but, uh, but it was great. It was great to see it happening. It was, it was an amazing feeling. So that, uh, I'll, I'll never forget that. The goal was install the pilot, have it ready so that the pilot can go operational. Well, and that's a success as of yesterday. So we can go home confident, but we now officially hand over the project towards our local partner. And they are going to start operation and they also need the time to set up the operation and improve on extracting the waste. Yeah, the ball is in our court now. Um, we will definitely try to keep the momentum going and to ensure that the, the pilot phase uh, starts off in the, the best possible way we can facilitate it to. So we're, we're confident that we have what it takes to take the mantle and to proceed and to ensure that we have a a steady headway in uh, going into this pilot phase. So one of the things that's been interesting is the, you know, the excitement people feel about the project. We've done a lot in the last couple of weeks with setting up the barriers, getting the boat here, that kind of thing, getting the boat cleared and on the water. But it is a pilot. This, the next few months is really for us to test what's going to work, what doesn't work, what's the best system in place, how do you pull the community in. So it's a learning process and that's very important as we are excited about finally finding a solution for our gullies, is that it will take us some time to figure out the right system and we look forward to learning as much as we can over the next few months so that when phase two is implemented we really know what we're doing and how to get it up and running and as effective as possible, as quickly as possible.